In this video, I'm going to show you how to create scalable designs using ChatGPT and Dream AI within my designs. So you can create bulk designs for a very particular niche with all the relevant details included very quickly. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm over here in Dream AI inside my designs and to make this quick, Dream AI has integrations with all the most popular image generation models for the most part. Got stable diffusion models, Dolly 3, Ideogram version 1, but Ideogram version 2 is coming next week. Flux 1 Pro, my favorite right now. Flux Dev is great too. And Schnell's is just really fast, but not the greatest quality. Anyway, we have all those models. You got the image parameters here, the resolution, and uh, everything you can do there. But as you can see here, I got this Monterey, California prompt. I was playing around with it until I had the right look. And the whole point of this video is to show you how to scale this. So here's the prompt. A vector illustration t-shirt graphic design. The design prominently features the text Monterey at the top, followed by California at the bottom. These can be scaled out, right? And in the center, there's a vibrant sunset with horizontal stripes and shades of orange, yellow, and red, basically going for that retro style that's really popular. Silhouetted against the sun are cypress trees on a rugged coastline. Designed is complemented by a few seagulls flying in the sky, isolated on a white background. So it's a little bit of a longer prompt with a good amount of detail. And I want to be able to scale this out from Monterey in different cities, right? Coastal cities in this case. And also down here, you got the particular type of trees, like cypress trees that are local to the area, seagulls. So you get the idea, right? So once you have a prompt and you have the, you'd run some generations, you got the look you like, you want to scale it out to other types of cities or niches, whatever it may be. I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT. We have the My Designs GPT. I'll share a link to, you, to for you in the description of this video. Basically, I can say, analyze this prompt and scale it out to the top. Let's just go 10 coastal cities. I could, I could do anywhere, let's say in the USA. Actually, let's do California first. And then I'm gonna put the prompt here. And the reason this My Designs GPT you want to use is because it'll format each of the prompts perfectly for Dream AI, where each of them has a line break. So you can just copy paste it and do bulk generations in Dream AI. It's really cool. So we'll jump into that when this is done. All right, so that is done. So see, we got 10 different prompts and you can see the line break here. With no other details, that's really important for Dream AI. So I'm just going to copy these, go over to Dream AI, paste them in here. You can see it's going to be quite a few credits. But that's because it's four generations, four images per prompt. So for 10 prompts, that's going to be 40 different images we're generating. But let's go to the top and analyze some of these. So a vector illustration. So San Diego, California, against the sun or palm trees on a sandy coastline. A few seagulls. We could tell to give more details. Like if we wanted the, the city silhouette in the background and different things like that, the skyline. There's so many ways to do this. This is a pretty basic prompt. But I did want to show you a few different areas to see how it's getting stuff that is relevant to the particular area. So let's see, sun are palm trees and rolling hills. So this is Santa Barbara, California. Let's go down. Santa Monica, California. Against the sun is the iconic pier of palm trees. So Santa Monica obviously has an iconic pier. If you're familiar with the area, then Laguna Beach, California. Vibrant sunset. Against the sun are palm trees on a rocky coastline. So you can see each of these prompts. You're able to scale them to really particular things within a particular niche or an area, a location. It could be national parks, it could be state parks, it could be cities with skylines. There's so many th ways you can scale this using chat, GPT, and Dream AI. But anyway, anyway I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I'm going to just run this. So this is going to be 10 different generations. So hit Dream. And it takes a second here. But it usually only takes about 20 seconds, maybe 30 to actually generate everything. So you can see those 10 different generations. And while we're at it, I'm just going to do the, the Flux Dev model too. That way I can show you both versions of that. Flux Dev, the quality is usually a little, the quality is not as good, but sometimes it's better for t-shirts. It's more like a vector base because of the prompt. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, you can see all these different, different designs that are generating. Oops, I have realized on Flux Dev, I only did, did one generation because I clicked it. So let's go and just actually copy the same thing in there. You see that's half the credits too is Flux Pro, almost half the credits. Anyway, these Flux Pro prompts, so while those dev are running, let's go down to where we started. Where was it? We're here. So the Santa Barbara. So you can see how quickly all these designs we can just bulk generate. The, the text generation with Flux Pro is incredibly good. Again, Ideogram version 2 is coming next week. You'll be able to do the same thing here. But let's check these out. So Santa Barbara, California. I mean, that looks, yeah, some of those look incredible. 
So if you like, let's say these two, you can just download them locally or you can save them to your listings, which you go over here into a folder in our cloud. From there, there's so many bulk operations you can run, like remove background, upscale, vectorize, or remove background, upscale, and then go turn them into print on demand or digital products you're selling on Etsy, Shopify, and the other platforms we support. But let's keep going. So San Diego. Yeah, San Diego, California. It looks good. Uh, Santa Monica, you got the pier, right? Like this particular design. Spelling's good. Oh, yeah, that's a great design with the pier, the sunset, that retro style. That looks awesome. Again, another one down here, but that's spelled wrong. So let's keep going. San Francisco. Yeah, this one's good. San Francisco, California. Got the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, some of these just look phenomenal. So let's keep going. Newport Beach. So particular area, Newport Beach. I didn't read the prompt. I'm assuming palm trees and beach houses. Okay, so that's why it's got some of these houses. Probably not the greatest, but it's not bad. So Huntington Beach, California. Another pier it looks like. It's good designs. Let's keep going. Carmel by the sea, particular area here. Yeah, look at those. I mean, these designs are just not bad. Laguna Beach, like this one right here, California. That's good. It's just Laguna, which would technically still work. We got Laguna Beach. That's California spelled wrong there. But that particular design, that, that's great. Um, Malibu, California. Yeah, you can see out the rocky coastline. Malibu, California. Yeah, some of these are just absolutely incredible. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can just scale those out really quickly using Dream AI and um, my designs or in ChatGPT, Ventura. So these are the these are the Flux Dev model. So you can see how it's a lot simpler, like the graphic. But in a lot of cases, that's really useful if you're looking for a simple vector based design. See here. Let's keep going for a minute. Check some of these out. San Francisco. It's so not all of them. I obviously prefer Flux Pro. It's incredible. But yeah, you can see basically how easy you can come through and create some of these designs and then modify them further and do what you need with them. But that being said, let's go down. Again, I could go take that same prompt. I could scale it out to national parks, state parks, cities with the skylines in the background. There's so many ways to scale these. You can go to Halloween with different types of elements like graphic elements and not be text-based and scale them using ChatGPT. The key is to just come up with a good prompt, run it a few times in Dream AI until you got it like where you like in terms of the overall style. Then scale it out and bulk generate those and don't waste any time. So let's save a few of these because I want to show you. I'm going to go to listings. I had some already saved here. So I'm going to just delete these. That way it's an empty folder. Go back to dream. Let's go back down to this one right here. So I'm going to save a few of these that look good. Monterey. Maybe this one. This one's good too. I'm going to save to listings. Again, it's in that scaled AI designs folder. You can create as many folders as you like to organize your designs. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm just going to grab a few that I like. Looks pretty good. We'll save. We'll save that. That's two of them. Keep going. We'll go up to Laguna. Grab this one. Make sure everything's spelled right. And maybe if, maybe we'll do Malibu too. So I think this one's good. Malibu, California. That's good as well. And uh, that's probably good to just kind of show you the example. Now you can go through and save, you know, anywhere from 48 to 120 or even more. On the My Designs Pro plan on the listings page, you can do all the bulk operations at 48 listings at a time. So removing backgrounds. Pro Plus, you can do it up to 120. Now let's see, we've got all nine of these here. So I'm going to go, I select it all, by the way, here. Now I'm going to go to Image, Remove Background. I mean, obviously the input file is that main file, which is where this is saved. And the output file, I want to save it into a different file slot just so I can compare the two. So it would be in this empty file slot here. Just hit remove background and confirm. And now it's going to process that in bulk, which shouldn't take that long at all. It'll store the new file here. You have the original. And it looks like that is done. So I click on this. You can double click it. That makes it active across the entire collection. And let's take a look at these. See how good that background removal job has done? Yeah, these, uh, these look incredible. And there's so many more things you can do to these, right? I can go upscale them now, which would further increase the quality by 4x. So now they're 4,096 by 4,096 pixels, which is usually large enough to go and put them on different products for print on demand. Or go sell them as PNGs, you know, as digital downloads, digital products. So many possibilities. I could even take these and vectorize them in bulk um, and generate mockups in bulk, publish them in bulk. In fact, we have Publish profiles. You can just load a public profile for a particular pro popular product type with all the presets there. 
mockups, pricing, variants, and publish them in literally a couple minutes. My designs is incredible. There's literally no limitations. You can you can do things extremely fast instead of wasting time. Test out ideas, get real feedback, real sales, real orders, and just keep doubling down in the particular niches that are working. But yeah, that's only just touching the iceberg of Dream AI and my designs. There's so much you can do, but I mostly wanted this video to be about generating Dream AI listings in bulk from your favorite image models. That's how you do it. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know by leaving a comment below. And I will go over so many different types of prompts, styles, niches, etc. Showing you how to scale this extremely easy. Create the designs that are high level, high quality, that can make you sales, make you money. But that's it for this video. We'll talk soon.